The situation in India is beyond heartbreaking. WHO is doing everything we can, providing critical equipment and supplies, including thousands of oxygen concentrators, prefabricated mobile field hospitals, and laboratory supplies. As I mentioned on Friday, WHO has redeployed more than 2,600 staff to support the response on the ground, providing support for surveillance, technical advice, and vaccination efforts. The situation in India is really um, heartbreaking, as the Director General has said, and, the, and the, the exponential growth that we've seen in case numbers is really, truly astonishing. Um, we have seen similar trajectories of increases in transmission in a number of countries. It has not been at the same scale and it has not had the same level of impact and burden on the healthcare system that we've seen in India, but we have seen similar trajectories where the incidence was almost vertical if you looked at that epi curve. Um, this can happen um, in a number of countries, in any countries, if we let our guard down. I'm not saying that India has let its guard down, but I'm saying we're in a fragile situation. Nine weeks of case incidents increasing, more than five, almost 5.7 million cases reported last week and that is certainly an underestimate of the true number of cases of infections that have occurred in the last week.